snake. I'm a snake. I'm a snake. You're welcome. What's up guys, welcome back to Chandler Burton Entertainment and today we're going to be checking out the brand new single from Upon a Burning Body with their new single called Snag Eyes. And I'm so happy that that video is not that popular anymore because that video freaks me out, but it still is just, it, it's way too funny. I've been a huge fan of these guys since high school, ever since The World Is Ours, all the way up to Southern Hostility, to their new EP called Build For More. I think these guys are absolutely awesome. They've had a few misses in my opinion, but overall I really like the band. They kind of started from like a deathcore type style, working their way, kind of molding into metalcore, which I think really works well in their favor. And I am super excited to check this one out here. They're on the same label as Orbit Culture, so you know what that means. It's gonna be a freaking ripper if them and Orbit Culture are on the same label. So I'm super excited to check it out here. Uh, before we get started, I wanna give a quick shout out to my Patreons here. I wanna give a shout out to Larry Stombug, Mary Getty, Spitz, Josiah Stewart, Mark Loves Metal, Justin, Adam Daly, Faith, Chris Scott, Hardcore Kyle, Miguel Munoz, Jordan Warner, Mark Wiseman, and we have a brand new patron, James Houston. Thank you all so much for being a patron here at Chandler Burton Entertainment. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron, there is a link down below in the description and in the pinned comment. But let's go ahead and we'll slither right into the new song. Dude, these okay, let's, let's just go. Let's all right, let's get it popping. Oh yeah, in this corner, weighing at 215 pounds is Chocolate Thunder! That's what used to be my wrestling name, my big wrestling name. <laughs> the endorphins just ran through my body. Ooh. Got that southern influence, which I love. Kind of reminds me of Pantera a little bit. A little bit. Ooh, I like this so far. Everybody get their two step on, brother. <laughs> oh! <laughs> His high screams are dope. Oh! I don't really know how to two step, but what's he doing? Oh, oh, he's pulling his tooth out. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah, this is the rip. Man, I got a snake in my boot, brother, but it's feeling good, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like this one, dude. Oh. Slither with the snake through the sands of time. Only the light and take back 
Oh, it cut off his hand. Oh, it is. Is that it? No, don't let it be over. Oh, it's over. <laughs> that was that, that, that song was a banger, dude. Awesome song. I'm gonna listen to it again, and I will definitely give some thoughts to that for sure. Upon a burn body, you guys get better with every release, man, and that's a good thing. You guys rock. My friend so again that was a pond and burn body with their new single called snake eyes that was the official music video i really hope that the video doesn't get blocked seek and strike is really cool about like having reactors like react to their stuff which i think is absolutely incredible so seek and strike thank you you guys are wonderful people for letting us do this i hope it doesn't get blocked with the age restriction i don't think it's age restricted but it's pretty violent but dude seriously this song was amazing, and I will say it was absolutely way better than that stupid Snake Eyes movie that we just got a little while ago. Did y'all see that movie? Man, that sucked. Really what I do when I listen to a song, I always just give a couple of pros, do my outro, bada boom, bada bing, that type of thing. But this time, I kind of want to do something a little different just for this song. Like I, I can see how the song can have two different sides of the coin here like one perspective may mean this the other perspective may mean that so i'm going to give my interpretation of the song and uh, we'll kind of go from there and hopefully it makes sense what i'm trying to do here the thing i've always liked about a pot of burning body is kind of just their message going forward like they really practice what they preach sometimes when you see a song title for an example they have a song called living for the weekend off of their ep called built from war sometimes when you read a title of the song your first your first thought may be like oh man maybe something bad happened to somebody and they're trying to like live each weekend in their honor but no this song is literally about like going through the work week turning the grill on listening to good music and just having fun and i think with with that song it kind of opened my eyes to this song a little bit and the video kind of explained it as well the song obviously is about a poker game and since upon a burn the body sometimes is kind of on their nose with their lyrics which i don't think is a bad thing the song actually may legitimately be about a poker game i actually learned a lot about gambling and poker when i did a play in high school called guys and dolls i played big julie i was a thespian as you would say and so i actually learned a lot about gambling and stuff which is weird to learn about kind of weird to learn about in high school if you if you really think about it honestly this song legitimately may just be about a poker game because again upon a burn the body writes those types of songs and so the song i think could be interpreted into two ways the first one is legitimately about a poker game like a poker game gone wrong it could be about that i'm not entirely sure or if you look up the term snake eyes and like the dictionary look it up online it can also mean something like someone is like not trustworthy or you don't trust that person like you can just kind of see through their snake eyes you know what i'm saying so someone could like honestly be that way and so honestly the song could go two different ways i kind of don't really know what it could be about but i mean i assume it's just about a bad poker game possibly because again they they write those types of lyrics so i'm not entirely sure i, I thought it was cool to kind of break down the interpretation of what it could be and what i think it may be about again on my channel i try to promote mental health and help other people and so you know, that's why I wanted to give my interpretation of that, because again, we know a lot of people with those snake eyes where they like say one thing, but they mean another, or they kind of cross their fingers behind your back. So it's really hard, especially when you struggle with depression, that like you have to be able to talk to people. But if they literally betray your trust, it makes it harder to even open up. So again, the song may not be about that at all. Again, just my own interpretation, kind of two sides of the coin, as you could say. For real, man, this song was a ripper. I have not seen a lot of people react to this song, and I don't know why. I feel like Upon a Burning Body is pretty well known, but I looked it up on YouTube today to kind of see how many people have done reactions, and not a lot of people have done a reaction to the song, but I absolutely loved it. I thought it was a ripper. I can't wait for the new album if it is coming out soon. I hope it is, because if it's anything like Snake Eyes, it's going to be super super sick uh, but what you guys think of the song let me know down below in the comments and again on the screen you're going to see all my social media again you're going to see my patreon my personal instagram you're going to see my twitch TikTok. you're also going to see my nintendo switch friend code and my playstation username feel free to add me on any of those social media platforms i would love to absolutely get to know you guys on a more personal level i generally accept everybody who follows me so feel free to follow me on instagram and i will probably i will 
pretty much follow you back and i love to get to know you guys here and again if you do like what you see before you go please hit the subscribe button the like button again leave a comment down below share the video with your friends i do have a goal this year of trying to hit 3,000 subscribers before the end of 2021 so if you can like like the video tell your friends about the videos or about my channel to help me reach that goal um, that would be absolutely fantastic and again i want to thank you all for your ongoing support here at chandler burton entertainment and until next time i hope you all take care thank you again guys